الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی نہ محمد ولا علی وصحب وسلم اما بحبت فلّہ پروفیٹ علیہ صلاۃ وسلام سیٹ آفٹر ٹاکن اباؤٹ دا ڈسکورڈ ان دا فٹنا دیٹ ووڈ آر اما دا اما آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ ولا علیہ وسلم ووڈ فیس ہی سیٹ فائ علیہ کم بی سنتی و سنت و سن علیہ کم بی سنتی و سنت خلف راشدین المحدین ادو علیہ بین نواجد و ایا کم و محتت المور ان کلو بدعت بلالہ سو دا پروفیٹ علیہ صلاۃ وسلام mention that his ummah would divide and mentioned that his ummah <coughs> would face the fitna of division and ikhtilaf and having differences and not knowing which way to turn and the prophet alayhi salatu salam mentioned that the prescription for the illness of tafarraq of, of uh, of division is through prophetic medicine and that means coming back to the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that's why he said alaykum bi sunnati it's upon you my sunnah and then he mentioned that along with the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the sunnah of the khulafa rashidin al mahdiin is the sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors meaning the sunnah of abu bakr as siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the sunnah of umar bin al khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the sunnah of uh, uthman bin affan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the sunnah of ali ibn abi talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu رضي الله عنهم أجمعين and that this is the prescription for the Muslim and this is what distinguishes the da'wah of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah from the da'wah of the many Hizbi groups of the groups who endorse division the groups who endorse <coughs> uh, modernism as a prescription they say you know while we're busy looking forward while you're looking back Yes, we look back. We look back to the Salaf al-Saleh. We look back to the Qawaid and Asul of Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah in order to strengthen ourselves, to prepare ourselves for the future, to prepare ourselves to deal with the future, to prepare ourselves, and we have a minhaj that is consistent, that is based on the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam as our Shaykh Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasiya mentioned He said when he was talking about our da'wah, because the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, the da'wah to uh, Salafiyun, the da'wah which is the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah, not the da'wah of Ashariyah or the da'wah of any other Hizbiyah or da'wah to modernism or da'wah to uh, all these new fangled uh, 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 ideologies. But rather the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is based upon the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's why the Shaykh, he mentioned and he said, Da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, Da'wah to Ila Min Kitabi La Ila Kitabi La Wa Min Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam Ila Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. And simply put, the da'wah of Ahlul Sunnah is the da'wah from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. And if we keep that in mind, that our da'wah is based on the Qur'an, and our da'wah is based on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that it returns to it, meaning that our da'wah is calling to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and that means calling to Tawheed. So all of those brothers that we hear say things like, uh, you know, Tawheed is not mentioned in the Qur'an, or Aqidah is not in the Qur'an, that this is the da'wah to Anbiya. And this is why Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala said, لَقَدْ بَعَثْنَ فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولِ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُ تَعْقُودِ And Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says in Kitab Al-Kareem about our purpose and our ghaya 
He said, I've not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Our purpose is Tawheed. Our purpose is worship. And that entails Aqidah because how can you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can you know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can you have Ma'rafatullah, you know, understanding and knowing who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except through Tawheed? Except through Tawheed. Meaning, Tawheed al rububiyya Tawheed al uluhiya Tawheed al asmai wa sifat. Knowing the Tawheed, the oneness, the monotheism, pure monotheism, Tawheed, uh, uh, the Tawheed of the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Tawheed of the of conducting all worship to Allah and the Tawheed of his divine names and attributes that we call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on or using his divine names and attributes which are unique to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and which are affirmed by him tabarak wa ta'ala fil kitabi hil kareem in the Quran and in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah in their da'wah they say we affirm what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms about himself and we negate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates about himself. And we affirm what Allah wa ta'ala affirms for himself on the tongue of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we negate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates about himself on the tongue of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Have it tawheed al asma'i wa sifat. And that's the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. And that's simple. And it, 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 it's not a confusing da'wah. We don't have to worry about what Akhwan al uh, calls to about taking the government and taking the, and, and the ideology that was uh, transformed by Sayyid Qutb, which originated with Hassan al Banna. We don't have to worry about that. Ahl Sunnah doesn't have to preoccupy themselves with that. Ahl Sunnah doesn't have to preoccupy themselves with takfir and following the minhaj of the Khawarij, Kilab al Nar, Kama Qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ahl Sunnah, we don't, we don't have to worry about that. Ahl Sunnah, they have to worry about clearly just calling to the book and the Sunnah and that they know that the rectification of the Ummah and the rectification of societies comes through Tawheed. So it's unfortunate that many do. I seem to be jumping on the bandwagon and I'm not saying that we don't need to rectify our society and the social ills of course we do of course we need to combat secularism of course we need to combat the ills of feminism of course we need to combat all of those things which are our diseases and sicknesses uh, within our communities and ideologies that are false and we need to deal with uh, likewise, the social ills of drug addiction, of pornography, of, of, of zina, and of homosexuality, and all the things which plague our ummah. But how do we rectify this? How do we rectify g gang violence and, and our teens being pulled into that? The asal is it's from Tawheed. That means really understanding. It means tatbiq, and this is what I want to emphasize. It means practicing Tawheed, practicing Islamic monotheism. It isn't simply that we say, yeah, you need to know the categories of Tawheed and the society's rectified. That's not what the Dawah to Tawheed and the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah is. The Dawah to Ahl Sunnah Tiwul Jama'ah is tatbiq. It's practicing the Book of Allah and practicing the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's how whole societies before us who had social ills and had uh, uh, things to deal with that they were rectified. And we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala by all of His divine names and attributes to rectify us and rectify our Ummah and save our Ummah from all the oppression on which they are being oppressed around the world. And, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala guide the leaders of the Muslims to that which is khair and back to the Book of Allah and back to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to lead and rectify their societies and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us with ikhlas with tabat ala sunnat al-nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad